Morning, everyone. Uh, a very uh, happy welcome to this conference, uh, Inference for Expensive Systems in Mathematical Biology. Next year, any suggestions on a shorter, snappier name <laughs> be, be, would be very welcome. Um, appreciate that some of you have come from far and wide to be here today. And thanks very much for coming. But isn't it so nice that we can all be here in person? It's just such a nice change after the last two years, and it's great to see so many faces, new and old, uh, this year. Uh, my name is Ben Lambert. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer, a lecturer at Exeter University, uh, and I'll introduce you to other members of the organising conference in a minute. Um, but firstly, I wanted to give a sort of brief overview of what we were hoping to achieve with this conference. Uh, the idea behind this conference was, you know, some of us are statisticians, Others of us are mathematical biologists or work in modeling uh, biological systems. And the idea of this conference is to try and bring those two groups together. The other aim of this conference is because of what's happened over the last few years with, with COVID-19 and how it's impacted particularly early career researchers. And so the idea behind this conference is that many people, particular, uh, particularly earlier career researchers just haven't had the opportunity to, to sort of build the networks that you normally would in your PhD, in your postdoc. And the idea of this conference is to sort of allow them to sort of meet new people and build new networks. So please just encourage everyone to try and talk to each other as much as possible over the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, try and have a, a really good conference. Before I get started, I should thank our funders. Uh, we've received very generous support from the Hailbron Institute. Uh, the London Mathematical Society and the Department of Computer Science here in Oxford. So this uh, is the very esteemed team that have helped uh, to organise this conference. And I'm going to ask that, that all these people stand up so that people uh, become familiar with them. So we've got Ioana. Hi, Ioana. Uh, Ouija. Uh, Fergus, who I think is actually outside. Um, uh, <laughs> So he can't introduce himself. Chon is even further away. Chon is in Macau. So Chon <laughs> has helped organise this conference, and he's you know halfway around the world. Uh, David Augustine. Hi, David. Uh, Richard. Hello. Dave. <laughs> um, Helen, who I think is at home, who's actually got uh, COVID, unfortunately. Uh, and Philip. I think most of you know. Great. So. Just uh, a short note that for those of you that are going to be claiming expenses, we've got um, potentially coverage of expenses for uh, travel and accommodation for early career researchers. If you do want to claim some of these expenses, then you need to make sure that you take a form from the front desk and fill that in um, and return it to us at the end of tomorrow. One thing I would ask is that you don't actually fill in the amount. I know that seems a bit weird, um, but if you give us the receipts, um, we will fill in the amount because the amount that you're going to be reimbursed essentially depends on how many other people are going to, to claim. It's a bit of a sort of tragedy of the common situation. Um, so yeah, if you could do that, that would be great. And if you could leave your Excel form within uh, the envelope uh, before you leave uh, and leave that on the desk, that would be great with your name on the front of it. Then we can just all sort that out for you. Uh, and similarly, we've got funds to cover caring costs. So uh, I, at the moment, I don't think we've heard from any of you yet if you've got caring costs uh, for you know, someone at home that you're, you're having to pay for their, their care, cost of care while you're here, let us know. And if you give us the receipts again for that, then we should be able to get that claim back for you. So uh, just a few sort of housekeeping things. Um, if you do want to get onto Wi-Fi, then you should be able to use Edarome here. Um, to do so, but just to make sure that if you do want to get onto Edarome, you need to use your usual username at institution, whatever your institution is, right? .ac.uk, for example. Okay, so you, you need that and your, your sign on. Uh, in the very unlikely event of a fire, um, then we should proceed calmly up the stairs and assemble outside the front of the Radcliffe Infirmary, which is just out the front and just sort of over into the, uh, where the fountain is. You'll, you'll probably see it. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through uh, the entire program of events today, 
Um, but we're going to start at 10 with some talks. Uh, it's not a very long break <laughs> until we've got coffee, coffee at 11. And then we've got some more talks until 1. Uh, and lunch is going to be served. Again, that's going to be a buffet lunch just out here, just outside in the same place where the breakfast was served. Then we've got a poster session. Uh, and then we've got, uh, uh, after that, some coffee, tea and sweet things break. Uh, and then uh, we've got talks from 3.45 till 4.45. The last speaker today has pulled out, unfortunately, due to um, testing positive for COVID-19. So we're actually going to start a little, or we're going to end a little bit uh, early today at 4.45. This evening, for those of you that have signed up for dinner, there is a formal dinner uh, at New College. And uh, from 6 p.m., the bar is going to be open at New College. Uh, and then uh, you can then go and buy your, your drinks then, should you want any alcoholic drinks for, for the meal. Uh, and then from 7.15 onwards, then the dinner is going to be in the Founders Library in New College. Um, but if you come to the, to the bar in New College beforehand, then we can all go into dinner together. Uh, for those of you that don't know, New College is about, I don't know, 20-minute walk from here, just towards the centre of town. Um, if you're stuck at all, then please just send me an email. Great. And then tomorrow, uh, we're starting a little bit earlier tomorrow. We start, thought we'd start a bit later today to allow those of you that are coming from afar to get here. So tomorrow breakfast is from 8 till 9, and then we're starting talks at 10. I won't go through everything else. Uh, one thing of, of, of key importance is the group photo at 12.30. So we're going to get everyone together and go up. I think we're going to have the, the group photo up at the top um, area in mass, potentially outside if the weather's OK. But I think it's quite a high chance of rain tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, then we've got some more talks uh, and a coffee slash poster session in the afternoon. And then we've got a discussion session is the, is the actual kind of penultimate session of the day. And we're trying to get sort of as much involvement as possible. We're going to, talking, we're going to be talking about how to share inference methods then. Uh, so hopefully it should make that really uh, nicely interactive. And then we're going to have some awards because um, we have awards for early career poster, uh, the best early career poster, and the uh, best early career um, talk. Um, the poster sessions, for those of you that don't know, they're going to be taking place outside the front of the room here. There are some poster slots um, just outside. Uh, if you haven't put your poster up yet, then you can do so. You should just be putting your poster on, on front of um, the sort of generic uh, Oxford um, historical post, uh, posters. Don't put your poster in front of someone else's poster, <laughs> obviously. There's a, quite a key distinction there. Um, the posters are going to be made public via our GitHub page. And so for those of you that, that are yet to send me your poster electronically, could you please, please do so? Of course, if you do not want your poster to be made available electronically, then, then let us know. That's not a problem either. And as I say, we've asked a selection of, of you um, to vote for the best early career poster. And you should have received a link um, if you're a, a speaker. So. Uh, if the one thing we're asking is that if people could uh, return their vote by the start of the discussion session tomorrow, so that that gives us enough time then to compile the vote so that then we can uh, give the awards in the award session. Uh, in terms of the talks, um, we are going to be, with the exception of, 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 of a couple of talks, um, always uh, using the same laptop to present them so that that minimizes disruption between the talks. And so um, if you haven't done so yet, if you could share your talks electronically with me or other members of the committee beforehand, then we can get them all, all set up. Um, presenters, uh, if I could ask you to always present behind the lectern, um, just because there's a microphone here, and uh, it just sort of makes things better for people that are watching online, and then that would be great if you could do so. The talks are 20 minutes long. Uh, allowing 10 minutes for questions slash to, uh, changeover. And we're trying to keep this conference as on time as possible. And so uh, we've actually got a, a system where uh, the person that's actually taking the session is going to hold up a sign with five minutes to go, two minutes to go, and then one minute to go. And I just realized I need to go and get these sheets of paper. <laughs> um, but uh, we've got them outside. Um, and uh, so at the end of talks, we're going to be taking questions from people in the room and people online. 
Uh, thanks, Joanna. <laughs> um, we're going to be taking the questions from in the room and also people online. Um, the talks are being recorded and they're being live streamed. If uh, I, I haven't heard from anyone yet that they are not wanting their talk to be recorded and then posted on YouTube afterwards, but if you if you don't want that to happen, please uh, let let us know and we can make sure that it doesn't get put up on YouTube afterwards, which will be publicly available. Again, there's going to be an award for the best early career talk, and we've asked those early career poster givers to vote on the best early career talk. And so, uh, again, we ask that those of you that are, are, are giving posters uh, and are voting on the, on, the, um, on the best early career talk, if you could give us uh, back your results by the start of the discussion session tomorrow, that would be great. That just gives us enough time to compile the results.